friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 14th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well, earthquakes and world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, 304 Rangstroms, the last 48 hours. Still pretty active sun. Now we've got complete view of that large plasma filament on the southeastern limb. As well, we've got some big sunspot regions cresting right now, northwestern regions. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming. Amazing sun. Still in the B and C class solar flare range. Nothing major has been thwarted our way since the last update. Looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Amazing, the size, Earth to scale. And look at the size of that plasma filament. So heads up, everybody. Stay aware and prepared. Stay tuned to daily events worldwide, keeping an eye on our very active sun. Looking at all of the regions that are active right now. And as well, the plasma filaments in the northern region. A wee bit concerning. Looking here at another light, 211 angstroms, you can see the coronal hole stretching from the north pole of the sun to the equator and then across the equator here. Solar X-ray flux, as I said, remains in C range. Solar proton flux coming down and geomagnetic activity slightly elevated. Looking at the ISWA space prediction spiral, showing a backside solar flare, another small one aimed at stereo A. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at about 420 kilometers per second. Temperature and density has been up and down all day long. Phi angle flipped yesterday. Having a quick look here at our geospace magnetosphere cut planes, just showing how our magnetosphere is holding out with these increased solar winds. They've been pretty low the last couple days, hovering just under 300. And now they're up over 420. And we're going to see these continue to increase over the next 24 hours. So stay tuned to the next video. We'll give you an update on what that looks like. Having a look here at Lasco 2 and 3. No major new events to be to visualize here, except for an interesting cluster of stars in the distance on Lasco 3. That big cluster coming in on the left hand side there. I'm not sure what constellation that is or what grouping that is, but it's uh, very dense. Having a look at our Schumann resonance for today, this is the heartbeat, the pulse of our planet. As we are charged up to an amplitude of 46, quality of 8.9, a power of 21. Let's have a look at earthquakes for the past 24 hours, as it's been semi-quiet, hovering just under 200, kilom or 200 earthquakes for the past 24 hours, according to USGS. Volcano Discovery reporting a lot more, but here we're going to show, first of all, the largest earthquake across the map, 5.3 Kermadec Islands, and that was after those deep earthquakes yesterday. Continued action here through Indonesia. Abipura, another 5.166 kilometer depth, and then, yeah, pretty much the same pattern here as yesterday. One earthquake through the region heading up the west into the Japan Islands and up into Russia. And just recently, there was a 5.1 Shikatan, Russia. Not on this map. Afghanistan, see, that was reported yesterday. 4.5 Xinjiang border with Kyrgyzstan. As well, the North Pole here, 4.1. This was reported yesterday. Franz Joseph land, 10 kilometer depth. As well, a 4.5 here reported Iceland at a 10 kilometer depth. That's right along the coastline, the peninsula of Fagredisvalli, and as well, Kristoff, the big volcanoes 
in Iceland. So keeping an eye on the seismicity through the region here, looking at volcano discovery as they do report all of the earthquakes in the region. Minor earthquakes right off the peninsula there. But this is where the 4.8 struck, according to a volcano discovery. So heads up, Iceland. We could have another eruption with Fagradis Folly. Still showing size of unrest, fissure swarm. And Volcano Discovery does report more earthquakes as they have more data sets. Having a look here across North America, 3.5 here reported in Horntown, Oklahoma. As well, White City, New Mexico, still seeing a minor earthquakes. And nothing major here to report up the West Coast, nor Hawaii. All minor activity, to say the least. And that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Come by, check out the live stream at any time, and you can see live earthquakes. Just like looking at Google here, live satellite imagery, overlooking that huge storm that went across Canada. As I said in a couple videos ago, it looked like a hurricane as it was moving across. I'm just showing the satellite imagery here of that very large and vigorous system hovering just on the Canada and U.S. border. That packed a lot of punches and as well extreme weather, tornado watches all across the United States and heavy rains into Saskatchewan and Manitoba. Now as things are rocking and building in the northern hemisphere, southern hemisphere is doing the same thing, especially south of South America here, as we've got some big lows coming through over the next few days. And look at the size of that beast of a storm right there. That is literally almost the size of Africa. I've never seen anything like it in models brought to you by windy.com. This is a little bit insane, but we've kind of been expecting it. If you've been following along here with Morning Dew, aka Daily Events Worldwide, we know these systems are going to get bigger. They're going to get stronger. They're going to get more organized. And we need to be ready. And that's why Morning Dew, a.k.a. Daily Events Worldwide, is here for you. Just giving you an example of how the Southern, southern Hemisphere is reacting right now. All the pressure and power has moved to the south. Ushering in winter for parts of Australia and other parts of the Southern Hemisphere. Looking here at pressure maps across the world, and as well, each layers. This is 10,000 feet, showing the vortex. Much love to everybody. I want to thank you all for watching today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Quick look here at the world maps of winds, and as well, all of the lightning that is striking our planet. It's electrifying. Thanks for watching tonight. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.